Police say security measures have been tightened in preparation for the fifth global conference on the elimination of child labor. The conference will bring together a high-level delegation from over 180 countries to the Inkosi Albert Lutuli International Convention Center in Durban. This will mark the first time that Africa hosts this global conference. President Sidra Maposa will deliver the opening address today. The African League will build on the 2017 conference held in Buenos Aires in Argentina. 4,000 representatives from global organizations will form part of the delegation. The aim is to accelerate action towards the eradication of child labor by 2025. This is in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal adopted in 2015. According to the International Labour Organization, more than 160 million children in the world are labourers. Over 106 million of those are out of school. The organization has warned that 9 million additional children may become child labourers by the end of 2022. The Turbine call to action will be the outcome document that we hope that it will be adopted at the end of the conference on Friday. So this document is a voluntary document. It's not a treaty, it's not a binding document, but it's a document that wants to nudge uh, the, the, the member countries to, to, to work with speed towards eliminating child labor. Delegates will participate in 28 sessions to discuss experiences and share knowledge related to this topic. Between Monday and, and Friday, we are going to have um, different topics that are relevant in the space of child labor. Panel, there will be panelists, uh, uh, eminent people from across the world that come from the tripartite uh, establishment. As you know, that as a labor market, we work on three legs uh, uh, labor, uh, business, and governments. All these people will be drawn from these uh, uh, groups, uh, plus all other interested parties, because we also have NGOs in the space, other UN organizations, and so on. The reform ministers from over 180 member countries will also be among the delegates. We have delegated a team that is working with the provincial joints. There's a team from NAC joints, which is led by a Lieutenant General Savani, working with the provincial commissioner. They have, we have, do have an operational plan that has been done, and we have sufficient deployment that will take care of areas both in, inside of the venue, outside the venue, and also the city security around the city of uh, Eteguini. The conference will close on Friday. Bungani Kema, SAPC News, Depen. President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver the keynote address at the opening ceremony of the fifth global conference on the elimination of child labor. The South African government and the International Labour Organization are hosting this, co this conference in South Africa for the first time. Despite progress in many regions, 160 million children were still in child labour. According to the ILO, numbers are rising and the COVID-19 pandemic threatens to reverse years of progress. The global conference will discuss good practices implemented by the different actors around the world and will identify urgent measures needed to accelerate the elimination of both child labour and forced labour. The conference will also include 28 side events, which are one-hour sessions that will allow delegates to further share knowledge and experiences related to the main topics addressed uh, in the event. The fifth conference takes place consistent with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal Target 8.7, which calls for the abolition of all forms of child labor by 2025 and the abolition of forced labor, modern slavery and human trafficking by 2030.